The United States has imposed sanctions on Sudan's Central Reserve Police, accusing it of using excessive force against peaceful protesters, demonstrating against last October's military coup. In a statement on Monday, the U.S. Treasury Department said the Central Reserve Police, a division of the wider police force, had been at the forefront of a violent response by Sudanese security forces. Singling out one day in January, it accused the group of firing live ammunition and, along with anti-riot police and regular police, chasing protesters trying to flee, arresting and beating some, fatally shooting two and injuring others. Monday's so-called Global Magnitsky sanctions freeze any U.S. assets of the Central Reserve Police and bar Americans from dealing with them. A police spokesperson cannot be reached for comment. Military leaders have said peaceful protests are allowed and that protest casualties will be investigated. Demonstrators have regularly marched in large numbers since the October 25th coup, which the military says was a necessary corrective measure. It has promised to hand power to a government appointed by consensus or elections. But protesters want an immediate exit of the military from politics. The United States, United Nations and several countries have been critical of Sudan's security crackdowns, which have killed 88 people according to medics aligned to the protest movement. Billions of dollars in foreign aid, intended for Sudan's long struggling economy, were suspended after the coup. And military leaders are yet to appoint a prime minister to tackle the financial crisis.